Luisa Meridian is uh, originally from the Ukraine, but spent the majority of her adolescence in beautiful Kansas. Um, home of coaches named Bill, the Wizard of Oz Museum, and the tallest water slide in the world. Um, and she also claims the greatest barbecue in existence, which in Texas is fighting words. Um, she is currently a PhD in poetry, um, and is uh, her previous work has appeared, or is forthcoming in, um, Blackbird, West Branch, Ninth Letter, Mudlark, and Pink, among others. Thank you, and thanks to everyone for being here. Um, my poetry is actually like sounds best in rooms of mahogany, so this is perfect. Um, so my first poem is called, If You Are Wondering About the Couple Who Owns the Funeral Home. This isn't an erotic poem. We are just two erotic people sitting in the bathtub, washing the dirt off each other's backs. It's a Tuesday, and on Tuesdays we take inventory, count the bodies in different colors, make up beautiful pie charts to stay sane, Violet means these bodies just got here and haven't even taken their shoes off. Yellow means we just need to get them up and around, put a little Mile Davis on. Green means we're feeling young and you're dancing like a dandelion again. Blue means the blood hasn't left the body. And you're a duchess in a room fit for a duchess, the throne of formaldehyde. We spray perfume on the bodies. We call that rose. Red is the hardest color of all. It is the day we think of fire. Gray is the morning after. We sweep it into porcelain jugs. People say that the void is indescribable, but I tell you it is brown and lacquer sitting on your mantle beneath the portrait of your Aunt Libby holding her tiny black dog. So for those of you that are in elegy class with me, you know I have this sort of very advanced and tasteful, like sort of like preference of movies, particularly uh, action movies of the 80s and 90s. Um, so this is sort of like an attribute to that. Uh, it's called Schwarzenegger in Prayer. There's a scene in Predator where Arnold Schwarzenegger slaps the hand of Carl Weathers and the camera focuses for a moment on the flex of their palms. And I think this is how prayer works when two tulips brush against each other in the rain, or so I believe when I watch action movies that there is a reason Bruce Willis can jump out of a helicopter and propel into a circus tent, that perhaps yippee ki is really another way to say Baruch Donai, that perhaps the Chapa is a temple, and when he says, get to the Chapa, this is really a call to return, or just a call to stand in the garden and marvel at the beauty of wet flowers. Okay. The next, I, I, I love our old person. Okay. The next one is called uh, Message from a Peeping Tom Named Tom. This is a love poem. Understand that my hands are wrapped around my binoculars and I dream about you in the present. I am in the tree right now. I'm in my boxer briefs, varieties of sushi printed across the arc of my ass. I am raw cut tuna watching you paint your toenails like cherry blossoms, sticky rice in my shorts. I am an anthropologist studying mating habits behind a rock in the middle of the Serengeti, waiting for the antelope to make antelope love. I don't have a degree, but I have visions. I see a woman on the second floor brushing her teeth in a macaroni bowl moments before her boyfriend gallops across the open plains. I take notes. I keep charts. When she collapses in the corner of her room like a crumpled piece of paper, I worry. Each night I bring tissues. Each night they stay sealed in my bag. Each night I whisper through these leaves in English. But tonight, allow me to seduce you in French. Bonjour, mon chéri. Je voudrais un... Hmm. I can't remember anything else, but I can French kiss the tulip curve of your mouth, or I can feed you the brie I have been aging in my cheese cellar, saving fromage for this special occasion. My darling, I live in this tree. I want nothing from you and everything from you. I watch you watch the spiders weave patterns in your window. I have two legs, but I can get more. My darling, I have eyes and legs and binoculars. My darling, this is the poem I will leave on your doorstep. 
I am standing in the middle of the Louvre, staring at Chasserot's Esther. Esther, you saved the Jews from massacre, but as you sit topless on your bed watching television, you look like you couldn't care less whether I lived or died. You are queen of the universe, unaware of her subjects, the stars. All right, now uh, this is my last one, and I promise I'll be done. So it's called Crane Fly. It was days before I saw him again, body broken on a golden dish, legs propped in the air. He stayed there a long time. I peeled a pear in his honor, left the rind in the sink, and watched the fruit flies hover like hummingbirds. And I think of my crane fly, legs too long, wings like a cheap cot like a cheap kite wobbling and unsure of the wind. Like the man I watched for 20 years find his way down the staircase every day, legs crushed against the bed frame, the air he stood on, my crane fly, my King Midas. Thanks, everyone.